Ask Claudio Cuomo. This is your forum to put forward any questions you have real estate related. Welcome to Ask Claudio Cuomo. Hi and welcome to this month's Ask Claudio Cuomo. It's your place to ask whatever is on your mind and we'll do our absolute best to answer it. This month's viewer question comes from Kim over in Oak Park, who's been noticing of late that more and more homes have now been breaking through the $1 million mark. During a conversation we had with Helen, she asked us, so Claudio, why the rise of so many million dollar homes recently selling in the area? And what does it take to be in this price category? Well, it got me thinking and looking back on quite a few recent sales. And yep, Helen was absolutely bang on. We've definitely seen an incredible rise in the number of homes that have been selling in excess of $1 million within our core 3046 and 3044 postcodes. And I thought, let's take a look through some of them and drill down to the reasons and what it takes to get into the $1 million club. Well, let's have a look at the evidence. Recently, 151 Landles Road, Pasco Vale sold for $1,040,000. We had another very VIP off-market sale in Glenroy, which sold for $1.25 million, address undisclosed, and 11 Xavier Street Oak Park, which sold for $1.306 million. And one of my favourites of the year, 7 Cartwright Street Oak Park, which sold for $1.35 million, and the High Density Block 166 Waterloo Road Oak Park, selling for $1.355 million. So, what has brought about this rise in so many million dollar sales of late? And what does it take to get into this exclusive million dollar club? Well, we're now experiencing many homes in surrounding suburbs like Glenroy and Hadfield really starting to push and sell in excess of the 800 and even in excess of the $900,000 price bracket, which is just under that million dollar mark. And as such, it naturally only becomes a small jump in loan commitments for many families and buyers aspiring to make the move in that next suburb down and upgrade into areas like Oak Park and Pasco Vale and push into the million dollar range. This combined also with many buyers that have been getting priced out of other surrounding suburbs further south, like Pasco Vale South, and Strathmore, for example, that are seeing much better bang for their buck and value in only buying and moving back one or two suburbs down from their first preference locations. However, it's not just this simple. To jump into that $1 million price range, there are some key attributes that we're seeing your property needs to have, and that separates you from the pack. Now, styling and presentation are absolutely crucial and one of the keys to exciting the senses and engaging buyers. Something with a unique wow factor like 7 Cartwright Street, for example, with that amazing alfresco and pool that sold for 1.35 million is a prime example of this. And also having something like that extra bedroom and that second bathroom over what may be the suburb average in your area can also attract that upsizer home or that second or third home buyer that usually comes with a bigger budget. Again, a classic example, 151 Landles Road that sold for 1 million and 40 had three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two living zones. It was that classic upsizer home. Or of course, having a large block or a block of land that is suitably zoned for potential redevelopment can really jump you to that next price stratosphere, like 166 Waterloo, the one that we mentioned sold for 1.355 million, one of the highest suburbs in Oak Park over the last few years. There's no doubt the Melbourne buyers are also becoming really savvy to the fact of how close postcodes like 3046 and 3044 are to the CBD and how much value that they still offer compared to suburbs of a similar distance to the city on the south or the east. And as such, we really expect that this million dollar trend will continue as more buyers flock to and see the value of our area combined with the convenience of the location. So if you've been asking the question, is my home in the Million Dollar Club? Or if it simply would be helpful to find out how much your own home has increased in value over recent years, feel free to drop me and the team a line or get in touch on the contact info on screen below to see how we can help. So thanks for watching as always. I look forward to helping answer your questions again next month. Take care and bye for now.